Well, I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but this was just too funny to pass up. Daniel Apt has been caught cheating at eSports. He got an imposter to race for him. That is pretty low. It's a charity event as well, which just makes it worse. The original plan was for a video of Stefan Sarazan, but that is going to be released tomorrow evening. So remember to subscribe for that. And with that said, let's begin. So, Daniel Apt has been disqualified and fined for calling in outside help for a eSports race. This is pretty embarrassing for him. He got gamer Lorenz Hurzing to race for him in the Race at Home Challenge. And they didn't even win. Now, he has been ordered to pay 10,000 euros to charity to make up for it. But this was an official esports race, and he's kind of made a bit of a joke of it all. He's apologised, and I'm sure he's not going to get sacked, seeing as he races for his dad's team. But this does bring into question his character. Can you imagine if he did this on race day? Just turn up at the track, and honestly choose any track, and decide that... Actually, I'm not too good around here, so I'm going to get someone else to drive for me. He'd be disqualified from motorsport forever. Now, this does bring into question, should esports be taken as seriously as actual motor racing? But as I said, this was an official event he signed up for. It should have been. It's for charity. It doesn't matter where he finishes. It's not like it's the end of the world if he finished last. It's an esports it's not the actual Formula E Championship. Now, eSports has been a pretty good distraction from everything that's going on at the moment and the lack of motorsport. But to be honest, that's all it is. It's a distraction. We're just waiting for the real thing to kick off again. But hopefully this has raised the profile of eSports. I think some of the races on YouTube will have made their mark and be taken more seriously. And that's only a good thing. But as I said, this was not a planned video. This was just my thoughts. I think it's hilarious. It's a really terrible thing to do. He didn't, as I said, he didn't even win the race. Oliver Rowland won in Nissan, so it was all a bit of a waste of time anyway. They only realized that he was not actually playing the game when John Eric Verne asked him to go on camera. So as I said, this was not the planned video for today. Tomorrow there will be a video on Stefan Zarazan. And after that, it'll be back to normal. So, thank you for watching. I'm sorry for the rushed quality of this video. I'm just doing it quickly because I ain't got a lot of time. Remember to subscribe to the channel, watch more videos, leave a comment. And most importantly, don't cheat and have a good one.